Are, are you a songwriter? Are, are you looking to turn your songwriting passion into a full-time gig? Whether you are just at the start of your songwriting journey or a seasoned industry professional, this show is made for you. Welcome to The Songwriter Show, bringing together songwriting news, interviews, and community. Now, welcome your host, Sorantos. Thank you for tuning in, and welcome back to The Songwriter Show right here on Reality Radio 101. I'm your host, Sorantos. I'm a solo music artist who's been writing lyrics for as long as I can remember. Words are so important to me, and that's why I'm thrilled to host this show for you every single Tuesday evening. I believe in my heart that every song is a story. Tonight's guest is Harry Kappen. He's known for his deeper lyrics in his songs. He's a Dutch musician and music therapist. His first love is a guitar, but gradually he discovered the bass, and now you can safely call him a multi-instrumentalist. And now, welcome this week's special guest. Welcome to the show, Harry. How you doing? Ah, uh, hello. I um, thank you for having me, and I'm fine. Yeah, how are you doing? I'm doing well, man. I'm in Chicago, so we have a little bit of a time difference, but we made this work. It's early for you. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, what is the coolest thing about your country? You know, I've always wanted to visit. I haven't been out there yet. Oh wow. <laughs> Well, I think the coolest thing is that half of the country is below sea level. That is cool. Wow. I did not know that. Yeah. So it's a little bit like being in New Orleans. Do you guys worry about getting flooded or anything like that? Well, we, we, there were several uh, severe floods in the past. Yeah. But we uh, made uh, very big dikes and uh, a lot of working works. So we are safe now. Well, that's good to hear. Do you, sounds like a good topic to write a song about. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah. So tell us about your musical talents here. Guitar is your first thing that you uh, learned? Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, I learned it from, uh, well, I was uh, like 10 years old and my sister had an acoustic guitar and uh, I was curious. So sometimes I lent a guitar and uh, oh, I thought that was nice. And um, I had some lessons for two years, classical. But then, uh, well, I became uh, adolescent, and um, and there were uh, we started some uh, school bands, and uh, in that way, we I learned a lot more about pop music. So I quit uh, lessons, and uh, I went on with. Uh, just bands. Learning the good old-fashioned way. Yeah. Yeah. What is your uh, favorite part about songwriting? That's a good question because I like the, I like the process, the process, um, the process of creating and uh, trying and um, searching for a sound, uh, searching for a subject, try things. Um, so I, I love that. I'm all, uh, almost a bit disappointed when a song is finished, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> sometimes it takes a week or a month, and I enjoy the, the, to lay the puzzle. Okay. And, uh, and, and there always comes this moment of uh, everything coming together. Um, and that's a very nice moment. But after that... There's a disappointment because it's uh, finished. <laughs> so we start another one. How often do you try to write songs? Do you do it every day, every week? What's your process? Um, well, I've done it a, a lot in the past. And then I wrote every day when I uh, played in bands and, and performed a lot. Uh, nowadays, uh, I'm a music therapist, so I have uh, less time to do it, but uh, I'm always uh, very assured from uh, when I sit down and take my guitar that uh, there will be a song in the end. So, yeah, that's great. Yeah. How do you try to decide if a song that you're working on is gonna, you know, if you're gonna release it and work on it and finish it? Do you have a group of confidants, or how do you figure that out? Yeah. Well, first of all, I. I I have to get the feeling of everything coming together and, and, and it's right. 
And of course, I have confidence, like my uh, sister or some uh, two friends who, uh, which I played with in bands, and I check with them. But honestly, I don't. Um, well, maybe they have some comment, but uh, I think my own. Uh, <laughs> when I think it's good, it's good. <laughs> okay. All right. You gotta trust yourself. <laughs> yeah. What exciting things do you have coming out this year for the fans? Well, first of all, this year was um, last year was the year full album, and this year uh, there was. Um, um, two singles came out, one the Freedom Inside, and uh, the last single, Not All of Us Agreed, uh, from a month ago. So there are two singles this year, and uh, end of this summer, there will be a full album with uh, all the songs on it. Okay. Tell us a little bit about any advice you would give anyone who's a beginner in this industry. That's a tough question because um, when I started, I just copied some of my heroes and tried to uh, uh, and lay the emphasis on the sound and on the guitar and on the stuff, uh, the equipment. But now I think you have to be, um, when I now look at it, I'm just being me. And uh, with my experience, I trust myself to, to play music. Um, so, I, like that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Can you tell us a little information about this song we're going to hear in a little bit? Not all of us agreed. <laughs> it, it's about, um, well, there's a lot going on on the technological uh, field, huh? like uh, AI artificial intelligence and uh, a lot of more uh, the internet of course and everything what's happening and um, we the people <laughs> have to cope with it and uh, adjust to what's happening and sometimes uh, that's difficult uh, certainly for older people I think and um, it's also a bit scary because yeah, it just is there and uh, it develops and uh, it's new. So it's, yeah, it can be scary. So it, I made a song about that uh, because uh, yeah, not all of us agreed and suddenly it's there. <laughs> so we have to cope with it. Okay. And I think it's um, what you see in Holland. There's a, a big mistrust between people and government, for instance. I think that's also the case in America and everywhere else. There's this big different, big gap between government and uh, people. And, um, and also there's this technology, which is new. And, uh, and there is fake news and there's all, uh, all kinds of stuff we don't control. Um, so it, it all comes together with, uh, it's a danger for human context, I think, relations, because you don't know what, what is real anymore on television or in the media. You can't be sure if it's, if it's real or not. So, uh, well, I, I don't say it's a wrong thing, but it's, uh, uh well, we have to think about that, and don't and don't forget who we are and uh, our human feelings and the human uh, side of of life. <laughs> yeah, humanity is very important. We got to hang on to that every chance we oh, get. Of course. Yeah. Okay. Tell you what, Ari. Let's take a listen to it, and then we'll come back and talk. Okay. 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 Awesome. Check this out, everybody. Here we go. Citizen 
That was kind of a cool song, Harry. Thank you for sharing it with us. Thank you. Thank you. So one of the questions I like to ask a lot of the guests is about scams. So since you're obviously from Europe, I don't know if it's a little bit different there, but what are the scams that you guys as musicians, that people try to prey on you guys? Anything uh, that you want to point out to us? I don't know what you mean by scams. What do you, what do you mean? Scams where people are trying to get you to, hey, here's like a, you you could do a show, but you have to uh, sell a thousand dollars worth of tickets and things uh, like that. Yeah, yeah. Like that. Yeah. Well, uh, you never be can be sure, but I'm very uh, careful with that. And uh, of course, uh, there are people who try to advantage, uh, take advantage of you. But um, it's the best thing is to keep. <laughs> the human relation central and then and, and don't communicate with, uh, only by mail or you never know you never know who is yeah. uh, mailing with you and uh, that's a danger yeah fair enough so so sorrentos are you real <laughs> are, is what are you real <laughs> am i real i think i'm real but i don't know, you know. It depends on who you ask <laughs> You're, that's a loaded question. You're going to get a lot of different answers. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. mm. so let's uh, tell us about your favorite '80s song. I love the '80s, so I'm sure there's a song you can think about that you love from the '80s. Wow. Uh, all right. <laughs> there's there's, so, there's so, such a lot of music, and the '80s. Well, um. I have to say, uh, when Prince came, I think it was 85, 86, that uh, turned me on. Yeah, yeah. that was that was great. Uh, but uh, there's so, uh, such a lot of music. Um, but I definitely, uh, uh, Prince was one of the highlights. Yeah. You're definitely a talented, talented musician oh, right. and multi-instrumentalist, right? And so, a big example of 
for me as a musician to do things yourself, learn things yourself, uh, have uh, your own uh, uh, studio and uh, equipment and do what you like. Yeah. So is that part of your inspiration to become a multi-instrumentalist yourself? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He was, uh, yeah. Okay. How many instruments do you play, roughly? Are we talking about like two, ten, twenty? Uh, well, I have, well, really play, that's uh, only drums, bass, and guitar, and a little piano. But as a therapist, I have to connect with my clients. So that can be any uh, instrument, like uh, the, the cello or uh, djembe or African, other African percussion things. Um, so I have to connect that does not say that I'm a very talented uh, uh, djembe player, but, yeah. <laughs> but, but I have to connect. Don't sell yourself short. Maybe you are. <laughs> Maybe, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's enough to connect. And that's uh, important. That Yeah, and then it's 10 or 15 uh, instruments. Yeah. Yeah. So I love the uh, music therapy. For people that don't know, could you describe it in a sentence or two? What What is it? Oh, wow. <laughs> Um, it's um, it's like psychotherapy, but you use the music as an instrument to uh, help your clients. For instance, uh, I have uh, very chaotic clients, and so giving them some kind of structure uh, helps them to uh, well to to live in a more pleasant way. And music is structure in time. Uh, you have the, the, the uh, well, the three minute song has an intro and an end and a solo and a chorus and uh, it's very structural. Um, so uh, composing with the computer, I, I do a lot. Um, but also drumming is very good for your, uh, well, for the structure and the, and the uh, for your mind, <laughs> the, the, the relation sure. between your arms and your legs. Um, so I, I make a lot of songs with my clients, and uh, and and I have young clients like adolescents, and it's for them, for them it's much easier to make music than talk about things because they are well insecure mostly don't know what to do, don't know who they are. They have not a defined uh, identity yet. So I make uh, lyrics with them on a safe way, in a safe way about everything. And they, they learn how to express themselves and how they feel. And um, so I use that. Yeah. For instance, uh, there's, uh, there are a lot of... Uh, uh, ways you can use music in therapy. I, I um, also have uh, families, complete families who come to me, dysfunctional families with dysfunctional patterns in their communication. And um, I invite them to come in and, uh, and we um, improvise music uh, with each other and Within, within seconds, everybody hears what's the problem because uh, it's about communication. And when it, there's a dysfunctional thing, it doesn't sound right. So we try to fix it in the music to make things sound right or better. Yeah, I think that's... And then we, and then we make this translation to the real uh, world in daily life. Yeah, that's very powerful, and that's great to hear. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about your website. Where can people touch base with you, listen to your music, and support you? On uh, harrykappen.com. Very simple, harrykappen.com. Uh, and uh, other information you can uh, get with uh, my management okay. by M Michael Stover well-known um, so like that 
But, and I'm also, when you type Harry Kapanel on the, on the computer, you get a LinkedIn and a Facebook and Instagram. It's all there. Okay. Well, Harry, it was an absolute pleasure. And I really, really want to thank you for being on the show oh, tonight. Yeah. I think your story is inspiring. And I'm very uh, glad to, you know, especially the music therapy thing. In addition to the music, I think it's, it is a very powerful thing. So I commend you for doing it. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm glad you're having me. So, okay. Thank you. You're welcome, Harry. So to any listeners out there, thank you so much for spending a little bit of your time with Harry and I. We hope your own unique story gets heard around the world. My name is Sorantos, and please join me every Tuesday night to other awesome artists share their fascinating behind-the-scenes stories right here at the Reality Radio 101, The Songwriter Show. Have a great night, everybody. I love you guys. A day born back in 1882 Reminds us not to take each other for granted Often happens without us realizing it So don't fall into life or try downsizing it Days meant for swimming while the water's still warm Yummy food is to the songwriter show to keep the momentum going head over to www.songwritershow.com and join our free music community of artists songwriters and producers that's www.songwritershow.com